Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we had a week off because we did have a week off. I lost my voice That's from true. being on the phone too much for work. And so it happens. It's, it's, so, it's, it's a real thing. Uh, it is a real thing. It's like four days straight of uh, a lot of phone calls. So I apologize for that and not having a voice, but we're here now. Yeah, we're here today with um, Cloud Age, which is. I'm excited to, to, to play this game on the live stream uh, for two reasons. For one, I really like this game. I think it's a really good game. And secondly, I know a lot of people are very inquisitive about it and about how it plays because this was kind of an enigma, as in like there wasn't a lot of information released about the game before it came out. And it came out in the UK and then Capstone brought it out here in the US. And mm -hmm. So a lot of people are just wondering like what the game is and how the game plays. And it's also a really interesting game because it's played over a course of chapters. If anybody played Alexander Pfister's other game, Archivo, you kind of know that there was that chapter system that you could play through a storyline. This has that as well. So the game builds on itself over time. Or you can do what we're going to do and just play a scenario. And we're playing scenario three because I want you guys to see what this game looks like when you're fully playing it. I think one of the reasons for the lukewarm reception this game's had is because people play like chapter one and then they go, oh, well, this feels like half a game. And it's like, well, yeah, it is because they really teach you the game as you play. So you really have to play a couple chapters before you really understand the game, is or it, you can just play one of these scenarios. Is it legacy-ish? I thought I saw something on BGG about it's, some legacy stuff. It's not legacy. It, it's not really legacy, but you will be making choices over the course of the game that can change your campaign, but you can reset it at any time. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So, uh, Genway even said he's getting a lot of conflicting reviews, and I think the reason for that is because people aren't, either they're just not playing through the whole story, or they're just playing scenario one, which is an introduction for kind of new gamers, but we're playing scenario three. So we're going all in with everything, and I still don't feel like it's overwhelming. I mean, it's pretty easy to play and understand. So, Well, a couple pieces of business before we get oh, started, yeah, let's too. Do that. So, two things. One, um, I was not sick sick, so oh. uh, we've still have been <laughs> right. in quarantine and everything. I have a family member I have to go see. Um, on a fairly regular basis who's high risk. So I we quarantine yeah. uh, so that we can continue to do this. Um, I also get tested about every couple of weeks. Uh, my city happens to have very easy testing for us, which makes it great because my family member lives about an hour away and I wanna make sure I keep her safe. Um, so mm. it's not like I can just go pop over and see her really easily. So that's why I just wanna make sure that we make it clear that we continue to do the things even though we're sitting here next to each other and not wearing masks it is because we choose to quarantine so that we can yeah. play this what, week to week without masks what kira's saying is that for you we just don't go anywhere no we, we make don't. sweet i <laughs> literally it is true though. Every, every delivery people love me <laughs> have, have i told you what i've been doing on my porch so all the games uh, that I have that I just don't play anymore. There's a bin on my porch. Oh, that's and it nice. just says, thanks to the delivery, please take a game. Because that's how many deliveries I get every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been, so. I've been, Amazon's <laughs> been my best friend for this whole pandemic. Um, I haven't been to like a store. I don't even know when. I know, um, right? Anyway. It's a pain in the butt. But that's what <laughs> we do for my family member, for each other. Yeah. And so we do do that. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that that hasn't been forgotten. Um, as well as... This game is out of stock right now, but yeah, it'll be it back in stock, stock soon, Hope, and we will yeah. be able to give a copy of one this yeah. week. So basically, you're gonna get um, from whoever wins our giveaway is gonna get a code that when it's back in stock, you'll be able to get it for free. So I, I spoke to the owner of Capstone Clay, and he said that it shouldn't be terribly long before it's reprinted and back for sale. But it's good news that it's sold out, I guess. So indeed. And then of course, like thanks to Capstone and thank you to Game Toppers for. Uh, continue to sponsor us and continue to believe in the show and, and let us put this on for you guys. Yes, so. thank you, Berkey. Them, so. All right, well, we should jump in because there's, there's a lot that you're going to see here, but I don't...
Oh, that would be weird. Can you, Can hear, you hear us, us now? Here? Is it coming back? That would be weird if it was on one and not the other one. Audio is back. That doesn't make a ton of sense. Not coming back. Audio is back. Audio yeah. is back. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we can't just play the game like this, so I will have to be right back. So, guys, just bear with us for a minute, okay? Hi. Hey, we're back. You should be able to hear us now. If you can't hear us now, then... Can you hear me? Sorry. Are we, if you can't hear us, we're going to sing. We're going to do a musical episode. But only if you can't hear us. I don't sing. That was that was a one-off. Right anyway, there. sorry about that, guys. I don't know. Something with the audio hiccup. So, now you can actually see everything in front of me. And what I was saying was... We are taking airships around this uh, dry world. This is like the world after a kind of cataclysm has happened. Um, and we're sailing above it, trying to basically visit a bunch of these different cities, which are embroiled in local conflicts with armies that are on the ground. And we're trying to replant new growth to kind of grow out the world again and make it green again. And in order to do that, we're going to have our airship here in front of us. Kier and I each have an airship, and that airship is represented out there this is not a race game it might appear that we're like racing down when we're, we're, you're not you don't even have to like really ever get to the end to win but you can upgrade your airship over the course of the game it, you can upgrade its combat strength you can upgrade its ability to maneuver and you can upgrade its ability to plant growth which i don't start with these upgraded i was just using an example so let me let me put those back over i don't know why these were Jeez, I forgot man. to reset them all right anyway I don't know what it's supposed to look like. A bunch this is of the these first hours. time I've even seen this game. All right. So you're going to be able to upgrade your, your airship over time and, you know, move around the board and, and take actions out there. Uh, so we'll explain a lot about this game as we play it. The game is divided into three phases. And I really like because the, the board is kind of broken down. It shows you each of these phases and they're color coded. So you have your um, setup phase, basically, your movement phase, and then your city phase where you get to visit your city now at the start of the movement phase or the start of the beginning of the game what we're going to do is every turn we look at our production our production allows us to turn water into energy every turn and as you go down this track you're going to be able to spend more energy to get more water and also potentially to get victory points now 
At the start of the game, we have the option to spend one energy for two water. Kira and I both started with two energy. And this can kind of be done simultaneously. Or you can kind of look and see, or like, are you going to get some energy? Are you going to spend some energy for water? I probably am. Because water is a very important resource. And again, I only should have two of these to start with, but resetting the board. I have board. no idea what I'm doing, but you definitely um, shouldn't, like... So I'm going to spend an energy to get... Worry about what I'm doing. I'm going to spend an energy to get two water. You just do your own Are thing. you going to spend an energy to get two water? I mean, it seems like the right thing to do at this point. It's not a bad thing to do, ever. So, as we play the game, we'll be able to upgrade this. Uh, every time you play a card, certain cards are going to show this little gear symbol, telling you that you can move that gear forward one. And every time you cross a, one of these darker lines, which I can see, but maybe you can't, but every time you cross one of these darker lines, you get a bonus. You get some progress cards, you theoretically get some water. If you get all the way to the end, you're just going to start earning victory points a lot, which is kind of tough. So we do that, and then we look at our deck. Now, every one of us has a deck of cards, and I'll show you here. Uh, we start with the same deck that are just kind of these blank cloud cards, and we've got a zero all the way through one, three. We are going to shuffle our decks up, and then again, every turn, simultaneously, you're going to draw two cards every turn. So we're going to start by drawing two cards, and we're going to look at those numbers. The higher of these numbers is how many spaces you're going to get to move during that turn. The lower of the two is how much energy that you're going to generate on that turn. So for me, for this example, I actually got a two and a two, so I'm going to get two energy, and I'm going to be able to move two spaces on my turn. So when you put this into your discard pile, you do it with the higher number on top, so you remember how many spaces you're going to get to move. So I know I do yep. too. So you do one and one. So you're going to get one energy and one movement on your ship, basically. Yeah, I'll put do we do that now? Here. Not yet. Okay. Because um, we do all this simultaneously. Um, or, I'm sorry, you get energy or you can draw that many progress cards. But we have a full hand of progress cards, and early on in the game it's good to get energy. Um, we started with eight of these progress cards, and we kept five of them. Well, I have to keep five of them, so I have to discard three of these that I don't want. So, we should produce every round. Correct. That's just what he made yeah, to jump in and say. Yeah, this is the bottom. We're producing every round, either getting... Um, the energy or the cards. So these cards are yeah. always going to cost water of some amount and another card. Yeah, and that's the and hard part. And they have some ability, so then you're going to have to make some decisions. My decision in the five that I chose out of the eight that we started <laughs> with was these are the cheapest. That's not a bad way to do it. Because <laughs> right, I don't go. know what I'm doing yet. So I got, this is I'm how I'm helping cards. myself not have too much to struggle with early on playing here. playing cheap cards is is good um yeah, oh, he's talking about producing here every round yes the the getting two water for one energy is like the best you will ever get that convert like this is the best conversion of gaining water that you will ever have in the entire game and so it's a good idea to gain this water every time you can afford it the only time you shouldn't get the water is if for some reason if you don't have enough energy which is one of the things you have to balance in this game so once that's done we do all that simultaneously then we go on to the movement phase. Now, every one of us has however much movement we drew. So I get to move my airship two spaces. Kira gets to move her airship one space. This can be improved upon if we had upgraded our propellers or if we had played some of those progress cards that give additional movement. You add up all of those things together and that is going to determine how many spaces you can move. You always have to end your turn on a city. You can never just end your turn floating out in the middle of nothing. So you're going to see on the board these like globs of uh, cloud. Those are the clouds covering the city. So as long as you end somewhere on one of those spaces that's cloud covered, you are in that city. Once you determine where you're going to land, you're going to be attacked by the local militia. This is called cloud. They're like a group the of... The cloud militia. The cloud militia. They are called the cloud militia. Yeah. They are going to attack you. And you're going to have to generate a certain With number clouds. of combat in order to fend them off. Now, combat is going to be generated by upgrading your airship, by having out certain cards that increase your combat value, or by spending an energy to draw the top card of your deck and adding that value to your combat. 
that's dangerous because you could only need one combat and you could draw your three, which means you're never getting your three in movement or energy, which can is kind of a bummer. But if you really want to win the combat, that's great. If you win the combat, if you get whatever reward is printed on there. A lot of these in the first tile give you some kind of water. If you lose the combat, nothing actually bad happens to you, but you are you don't get the reward. Because either way, no matter what, if you win or lose, you take one cube from your board and you put it on that city. That means you have already fought in that city. You can never fight in that city again. You have to place one cube a turn because you're always landing on a city a turn. And this is our, our turn tracker for the game. So I have the first player marker, so I'll get to do my movement first. Now, some of these spaces are going to require extra moves to get through. Like this one requires two movement to even like get through it. But you'd get two cards if you manage to move through it. I don't. I only have two movement. Period. So we also want to point out we have these mission cards. Yeah, these are going to dictate kind of what you want to do on your turn, because you want to try to complete these missions. Some of these missions are going to have you going to specific places. Um, so, but not all of them. Mine. Sorry, didn't mean. To actually, mine does want me to go to different cities: Senia, Eden, and Cruelfield. Wherever the I gotta figure out where those cities are. You'll have to help me if that comes up for me because I can't really see the board. You guys can see the board, and yeah. I can kind of see it if I look at the upgrades. monitor, but on my end, it's kind of glary. All right, so where do I want to go? I have two moves. I only have two moves. I'm going to just move. <laughs> I'm going to move one, two spaces Matt's to here. That's with me on the cloud jokes. All right. I'm, I'm for the cloud jokes. Let's bring the cloud jokes I in. just, I want to know how the cloud militia works. Is it kind of like... Uh, what is that show that's on was on HBO that was kind of okay? That, there's a lot of them. Yeah. I would say most shows on HBO are either really good or just kind With of With the little okay. girl. And the guy has the hot air balloon. He oh, seems like cloud uh, militia to me. Dark materials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They come in there. I mean, they might use hot air balloons. I don't know how the cloud militia does battle. You were doing Alexander's a great job. Alexander's in the comments. He'll, he'll know. Uh, so. So basically, I moved two spaces. I landed in a city. Now I have to fight in the city whether I'm prepared or not. I'm not prepared. It requires one combat. I have zero combat, so my only real option here if I want to win is to spend one energy, reveal the top card of my deck, and hope that it's at least a one. Ah, and it was my three. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I said could happen. <laughs> However, I did win that combat, so I do get the two water that I would have won uh, from doing that. And then I place one of my cubes out onto that city to show that I've been there, and also to track the progress of the game. So now it's Kira's turn to move. She only gets to move one space. But you can be in the same city as someone, but you cannot be on the same exact space as them. So, I can move to any of these yeah, four you, spaces. Yeah, you are technically considered adjacent to, to any of those four. So, this is a cloud space, this is a cloud space, this is a cloud right. space. Right, and those are all, they're all the same. All three starting cities are the same. One combat to get two water. This is competitive, right? So, I don't really need to be where he is. It is competitive, for sure. We'll go this way. All right, so then you are in the same boat as I do. You'll need to try to generate one combat. You can spend one energy to draw a card if you wish. How do I generate combat without a card? You can upgrade your airship. Or oh, have we don't have that yet, Correct. so I just need to spend an energy. You need to hope it's at least a one. Boop. And it's, it's not, not. So I lost. And that's 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 okay. Um, because all you, lose, all you lose is two water. It's okay better. to lose. But you got your zero out of your deck. So two. So now you're not going to draw your zero. Well, you don't have to spend anything. Oh, you just I don't, thought I did. You just don't get the water. I thought I lost it. You lose the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The potential water that I you see. could have gone. But you still put These a clouds there. are dry. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> put one of your cubes up so we know you've been there already. Fine. Otherwise, the game will never end if you don't put these Nobody's cubes up. Nobody's humoring me today but Matt. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> That's right on it. <laughs> with the cloud jokes. All right, so... Kira and I have both done our movement phase. We've both done our cube phase. Now comes the next step of the game, which is we're going to visit our cities. Now, this is kind of interesting here because this is one of those where one person takes an action and everyone else follows it. And they get to do something specific. So we've got several actions set up here on the action board. These two down here, both of these require five combat. So we're not going to these. These are when you actually can start clearing out the board and like and and taking out some of these um gun placements which we don't really worry about right now uh, and then placing some of your greenery but neither one of us have five combat we can't even make five combat so we can theoretically just ignore these bottom two spaces 
leaving us with one, two, three sectors. Theoretically or actually. Because actually, we really we cannot actually produce do not five have combat. That combat. So this space right here is going to, whoever goes there is going to get to take two build actions. Now, a build action can be a variety of things. It can simply be taking a resource. If you're really, really short by an energy, a progress card, uh, a water or a steel, you can just use one of your build actions to take that. That is not a very efficient use of a build action. You can also use a build action to upgrade any part of your airship. You don't have to upgrade them in order. You can upgrade them straight. You can, If you have eight steel, you can do your biggest gun emplacement first. Now, each one of these upgrades only gives you plus one, plus one to combat, plus one to movement, plus one to your ability to seed the board. But it gives you other rewards like water or victory points and things like that. And I'm sorry, starting with this, it is starting with the smallest and going to it's left to right. I don't know what I was. So I you can, meant you can do this side, this side, or this side. Right, that is but what I meant. Smallest to largest. Smallest to largest, but you can do them in any order. Like you can do one propeller, then one gun, and whatever. Or you can play a progress card from your hand. This is also a build action, and these are going to cost some amount of water and some amount of other cards. So whoever goes here is going to get to do two of those actions. Everyone else is going to get to do one action, one build action. So okay. either playing a card or taking a resource, okay? Over here, it's very similar. But whoever goes over here is going to get to put a number of greenery tiles out on the board. We start with the ability to place two out, but we can increase that. Now, you might have trouble seeing this, but there are two types of greenery tiles. There's like arid desert, and then there's like fertile greens. Arid desert is going to give you something and then go back in the bag. Fertile land is always going to give you victory points and go out on the board. Whenever you're placing fertile land, it's always going to give you those victory points, but you have to place it adjacent to your airship. So I could place one theoretically there and get two points or somewhere that's connected by a chain of green. Basically, you have to be able to connect back to your airship. If you cover something on the board that gives you like points or resources, you get those points. So. Those are those two. But here's what I think is like the most interesting part about this game. And we talked about this beforehand is coming to one of these three city districts. And you'll notice that we're in the sky. So we can't really see the cities very well because they're covered by clouds. But when you look at these cities, you can kind of start to see some of the elements of the city underneath. And you're going to have some uh, solar panels that generate electricity. You're going to have some city buildings that give you cards, some mountains that give you steel, and then potentially water, which gives you water. When you look at these, you're going to be able to uh, basically speculate by coming to one of the four spaces on that city and saying, like, I want to go here to generate energy. And then everyone else is going to go in, in turn order, and they're going to move to another space in that city. So if Kira really wants energy, I can still come here and try to get water or cards or steel. In addition, you're going to have some symbols printed on the cards that we won't know until we reveal them that are going to potentially let you cull cards out of your deck or draw more cards, which are, which are great. Some of them are going to also give you a reward when you take the card. Like this one gives you three greenery out of the greenery bag. Whatever card you take goes into your discard pile like a standard deck builder. But you'll notice there's some fours out here. So if you can get those zeros out and get a bunch of fours in your deck, it's going to go really well. So anyway, now that that's, I think that's everything you'll need to know. Now we can just play the game. Go um, for it. So While you play. I'm the first to go. I'm going to address maybe the best comment I've seen today. And that is that they hope this takes place in the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs universe. Which. It's like food everywhere. I think it's fantastic. I mean, we're, the Cloud Militia has to fight the spaghetti monsters. Um, one thing I did forget that I want to mention is we do have we do start with one solar panel already built on our airship Which I forgot about so theoretically you could move one space farther or gain two energy I'm just I'm gonna gain a two energy. I forgot to mention that so well, yeah Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go do the build action I think so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna Way get to, to go. build twice So the first thing I'm gonna do is build a solar panel um, It's gonna cost me four water. So I've got four water to spend and it's going to cost me one card to get rid of from my deck. And I like all of these cards, but I'm going to get rid of this combat card here. And this says immediately receive two energy per solar panel, including this one. So that gives me four. I assume because we have one solar panel already built into our ship. And this gives me one movement on this track. So I get to move one space forward. And then I get a second build action. I'm going to use that second one to spend two 
steel to upgrade my propeller, which will get me a victory point at the end of the game. So, so I could just fun. use this to just do this. Yeah, now you get one free build action because I went there. So. Yep, and then it becomes your action. Now you can go to any one of those cities to get resources, or you can start planting greenery if you want. I would like some resources. Um, I really don't know, I know what all this stuff means anyway, but... Well, which resource do you want the, which uh, one do you want the most? Steel? I need... Well, I actually kind of need some water because these are all... They really cost expensive water. Parts. But I also wouldn't mind some steel... Is it possible we can get more than one resource? It's not possible. Okay. You're only speculating on one resource. Well, we're probably going to get more water. You can get more water by turning energy into water. Yeah, yeah. So I want some s steel. So which place? I'm sorry. The well, I can so tell bad. you this one definitely. I don't know how well you guys can see this on camera. This one looks like it's producing a lot of electricity. Energy. This one maybe. I see a lot of buildings. I see. I don't know. It's, it's a lot probably of water. one of those two. That's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Okay. So that means I have to come to the same city you're in. And I'm going to come here to try to get development cards. So we're going to draw this out. And we're going to see how well we did in our guessing game here. Kira wanted steel. It comes with two steel. And you get to remove a card from your discard pile from the game. Yeah, I saw that zero going away. <laughs> and I speculated on uh, progress cards. So I get three progress cards. And then this card just goes right into your discard pile. Which you will get later. Neat. That's it. I think it goes in your discard pile. It might go in the bottom of your. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Anyway, so then that's it. We go to the like we go to the end of the round, and that's like that's a full round with us doing all these things. So then we're kind of back to the beginning. Um, we check to see if we passed a book on our player board, which we didn't. We can convert energy into water. I will convert one energy into three water, which is good. I will, I can only do two still. Yeah, and I'm going to double check on that. While you're doing that, I'm going to check on that card thing. I think it goes in your discard pile. Yeah, that be enough. But I want to make sure. Yes, I yes, was very happy to, to toss that card pile. into obscurity. It's somewhere way off the table. <laughs> Just trash our zeros, literally. Yeah, fantastic start. Look at that. Like even Alexander says... Was it, it was, no, getting rid of that zero early is huge because I'm stuck with my zero. Ha. All okay. right, so did you draw your... Let me uh, draw two cards. Oh, right. I have a one and a one. So this I time I get one, one energy and I get one movement. So you get one energy or one card and two movement. So. Sure. You could take the energy or you could take the card. Okay. And you're going to be first player this time. So I get... One energy or one, one card. And then you get to move two spaces, and if you want to use your solar panel, you could move three. Okay. Uh, I will move two. Go one, two. Well, you can't stop there. I and can't. that one, so you always have to stop in a city. Okay, so one, two. That works. And so then, then I have to do this. Right? No, you actually have. You upgraded your combat. So I have enough combat. So you have enough combat. You just get two water for beating it. I don't know. It was smart. I have one, two, potentially three movement. I need really need four to do what I want to do. So I'm going to do. I'm going to use two movement and come here. This is a two to fight. I'm going to spend my energy. So I'm going to spend one energy and see if I got a two. I didn't. I got a zero. I could spend two more, or I could spend three to draw my card, but what's, do I have a two left? No, I don't. I use my twos, my three, my zero. All I have left is a one. So there's really no way I'm beating that combat, and that's fine. So I'm just going to call it a day there. It put me where I want to be for later, and I didn't get my three water. That's unfortunate. All right. So that was our movement phase, and you're first to do your city this part. action. Yeah. Um, man, I don't know. I know. I need to get up to five combat. Because these can these are really powerful abilities down here if we can get yeah. them. Yeah, let me look. I didn't look at these very well. Once per turn, if you find metal, take one additional metal. That's not bad. This oh, that's adds, not bad at all. What's this right two here? Two combat strength. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if it was two different things, and I re actually read it. Go, Kira. All right, so 
I'm gonna do that. Do I have enough water for? I do. Yep. Yeah, eight water, and then discard one other card. I'll get rid of that one because I already got two. All right. Yeah, and then now you'll know that every time you do combat, you have now you're at a plus three combat. Neat. So are you doing this action, the build action? Yeah. Sorry. And you still get one other build if you want it. Okay. Uh, I still have two metals. So this one down here does what again? That one's going to let you plant more growth whenever you take the plant action. And this one lets me have more movement? Yeah. Boop. All right, I think I'm going to do... Done. I think I'm going to spend three water because I get one build. I'm going to spend three water and I'm going to build an EMP blaster, which gives me plus one combat. That's not as great as yours, but it is one thing. I also need steel. So where do I think has the most steel? I think maybe here or here. I'm going to try here. So you can come to get water, energy, or cards. You want water, huh? There's a lot of water showing here. It seems like a good bet. All right, I get three steel, and I get to remove a card out. Oh, I'm going to remove my zero out, too. Is this what we're doing, throwing yeah, it towards the it. camera? Yeah, do it. Bye. David Letterman style. So I get three. Is that, am I too old for that reference? I'm sure other people get that reference. You're too young for too that Too young reference. for that reference. And then you took water, right? So you get two water. I got that. And a free build action. I do? Yeah. It's just oh, from neat. having a build action in the water. I don't have anything I can do. Oh, well, right. you can always use a build action to get a resource or a card. Oh. I will take a water. Yeah. That's good. All right. So that's it for us. So we're done. Yep. So this will pass back to me. Our ships will return to the dock. All right, now we have something special that we haven't seen before. Because the first thing you do every round is check to see if you've passed a book. And we actually have. We passed a book for the first time. Ooh. So normally you'd look at the chapter card and it would tell you what happens in the story now. But we don't have a chapter card because we're playing a scenario. So we look at the scenario card. It says, give everyone one mission card and then flip this card over. For the rest of the game, anytime we hit a book action, you can spend two steel to get two victory points. And either two cards or two energy, which is pretty good. Oh, let me look what that look up what that one is, because there's a lot of these. That one says have played four, five, or seven blue cards. That's what these are. Yeah, you've played one so far. It seems like a good one to go with then. This one also wants me to play. So we only get cities. three missions apparently. Yeah. So once you pull the second mission card, you have to actually choose one to cover, of uh, the four different mission options. So this is so you just do it like this. All right, I'm going to do... Good explanation, Kira. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to travel to a bunch of these different cities. All right. Yeah, that seems like work. It, traveling to cities is that definitely work. I don't feel work. like doing on a lunch <laughs> stream. All right, I'll get to produce. I'm going to spend one energy, and I'm going to get three water. I'm going to get two water. All right. And then let's see here. Draw two cards. So I, get, I have one card, and then I'm going to have to reshuffle my discard pile into my deck. So I have a three and a one. So I get one energy, but I get three movement. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, draw your two. So you Ooh. get two energy or two cards and three movement, which is good. So do you want to Or spend I can it? do it like this. It's always the lowest one gives you pr production and the highest one is your movement. Oh, okay. Yeah, that you don't get to choose. But you do get to choose if you want to spend that production on energy or drawing project cards. One, two. Yeah, and then so you'll get to move three this turn. I also get to move three. So I get to move three, four. So I'm going to do, this is going to take two, one, two, to give me two steel. Why does that take two movement? Because it's got two little movement symbols on it oh, to show me that I it takes two. That. Any of these special tiles cost some amount of movement. Neat. So that was two, and I've got four, so I could do two, three, four, and I can come down here to Devil's Fork. Actually, I'm going to come up here because I want to go to Senia. Or no, I also need to go to Lightsville. No. I need Eden and Cruisefield. I don't even know where these cities are. I need to, like, on your turn, study the board and make sure I'm not missing one of them. All right. But I'm here, and I'm going to try to fight. It needs a two, three combat. And I've got one. So I'm going to spend an energy to reveal a card, and it's a two. Two plus one is three. Good for That's you. That's amazing. What do I get? I get three water. And I'll put up my cube there. 
Awesome. I'm plundering. I have resources now to spend. Neato. All right. Do your movement, and I'm going to try to... Oh, jeez. So, Jericho's all the way out here. Takes me two to move through here, and what does this let me do? One, Draw two, cards. two yep. three. And these are mission cards. No, they're, they're project cards. Project cards, sorry. Ooh, what are these? Man, Jericho's receive. really far away. Per movement. Oh, there's a ton Immediately of receive two victory points per movement point from upgrades and project cards. Oh, that's Normally great. Only follow... So right now you have one movement upgrade, so you oh, get two Oh, just points. from mm -hmm. what I have here. I see. Cards cost one water less. That's oh, also Oh, all nice cards one. cost one water less? Perhaps. All right. I'm so, not hoarding all the resources. Don't look at my resource pile. And now I have to do the combat. Yeah. Which is three. I have... Three. Three. So you so got I it. So I get four water. No complaints. No. I wouldn't either. And then put your cube there to show that you visited it. Yes, sir. All right, that's it for movement. So the game, like, I mean, if you can tell, like, it moves pretty fast once you start doing all these different things. What do I want? I think I want to start planting some new growth here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to plant new growth. And I get to either plant my infertile or, like, arid one, which I will do because I get to plant two. So I'm going to plant this one. It gives me a steel and one build action. And I'm going to use that build action to... Increase my ability to produce greenery. So now I can place three tiles. Um, unfortunately, I don't have three I mean, tiles, but still. I never did get you to tell me what my other two were. Have eight, uh, or have up to three cards that cost eight water I or gotcha. more. Okay. And the blue cards, right? And so you've already is, got. What is this one? Have be as certain production. Oh, level. I gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to place this green one out. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to get two victory points, and I covered one steel, so I'm going to get one steel. So I get two victory points and one steel. All right, so since I went to the greenery action, you get to do one build action of your choice. Okay, I'm going to build this blue card for five water. Yeah, I figured that one was coming. And that, once per turn, if I find metal, I take an additional metal that's really good i'm not complaining about that and then you still have to discard another card to pay for the oh, cost right. though. um yeah tiff i can picture it like tiff yeah. doesn't play games to win she plays games to end up the game with the largest resource pile possible she's just like scrooge mcducks with the resources at the end of the game cool all right is that that's it for me so now yep. you get to place i want metal yeah, metal is the hardest one to get. I can't tell. There's like one solar panel showing here. So that one's... There's a bunch here and there's a ton here. There's a ton of solar panels there. That is Energy City right there. But... <sighs> I know right? it's tough. It's I'm tough. Go here. You gotta really guess because when that cloud cover goes away, you're like, oh, oh you went for steel there. Yes, I did. Hmm... I think that was a good choice. I think I'm going to go for cards, actually, because I'm a little short on cards. So let's see what we got. That instantly put the song in my head. Which one? <laughs> Tenacious D card. Oh. <laughs> instantly I'm hearing it. Okay. All right. Well, we can see this is kind of a small district. There was only one steel there. Oh, frick. But you get a free build action. I mean, Which okay. is nice. Remember, you can always use that build action to get something, too. Yeah, I'm just going to And play then I get two steel. project cards from it. Done. But you get this four in your discard pile. Yay. Which is great. What do I do now that I have no cards? Shuffle your discard pile. Yeah, just making sure. Your deck. All right. I think we're both done with that. So. All right. You'll be you the first know. player this round. That's true. You is never there a consequence that. to me having to shuffle? That's nope, what I'm no, asking. No, no I have terrible, not played this game. No terrible What's consequence. This? That's the first player mark. Oh. We've been passing it back and forth. We have. <laughs> All, All right. right. So. Uh, yeah, we do all this simultaneously. Okay. No book, so we do our production. I'm going to pay one energy to get three water. One I really need to, like, play some cards and get up that Can track. I pay more than one energy? You can't. Okay. Got my two water. Otherwise, I would just pay all mine. Sure. All the way down. And then we draw our two cards. I have a two and a one, so I get one energy, and I get two moves for this turn. Did Ryan explain that you get three growth tiles when you take a city card, too? Some of these that have you did. twos. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Okay, so then two movement and one energy. Yep. 
And I'm getting the hang of it. We've been taking a lot of fours, but I think these twos are both looking pretty, pretty They're good. They're very. This turn. I just am trying to find steel. Yeah. Well, you can. Well, I don't know how many moves you have this turn. I I have two, three. Okay. Yeah, you have three. Plus, I Plus can spend can two energy four. for an extra. Unfortunately, that won't let you. You'll have to go around. These both require three movement to move through. So you might have to go so around. I can't go through You would here? need one, two, three, four, five to get all the way through there to the next city. Uh, three. And you have... What do you what do you? I'm spending? trying to think of how much that would cost me. It wouldn't. You can't. It, so you can only do this one time. Okay. You get one extra movement or two extra energy per turn. Ah, uh, I see. So you could have two, three, four so I have moves. one, two, three, four. Correct. Okay. Which could get you to all the way to this city if you wanted to, or it could get you here so that you can move through the three steel next turn. Then I'd just be going backwards, wouldn't I? Well, you could come down and then over next turn because you haven't been to this city yet where I am. Sure. Currently. Okay, let's do that. And you wouldn't even need to use your energy One, to do that. Two, two, three. Three that costs two to get in there? No, that's two, but... Wouldn't you rather be? Oh, yeah, sure. Because you have three movement to spend. Sure, sure. Uh, this one was a three combatter, by the way, which you already have. So you just get three water for going there. Neat. And then you get to put down your green. So this one gives you a bonus. You'll notice that you got something for removing that one. You either get one steel or one energy. I figured you were going to take the steel. All right, I've got two, three movement myself. I could potentially do four. Um, I'm going to go... One, two, three. Actually, I'm going to go three, and I'm going to get the two energy for not using my solar panel. And then I'm going to fight. I need three. I've got one. I'll spend an energy to draw a card. That's two. And then I'll spend two energy to draw a second card. Oh, I just wasted my four. But you know what? That's fine. I beat it, and I get three oh, development wait. cards. Did I find metal when not I got yet. that resource earlier? No, it's when you're yep. on the when you're moving when you're your on a spot. Around. Okay, just making sure. So when you come down, if you can come through here next turn, you'll get four metal instead That'll of three. That'll be fab. Actually. All right, and I get one metal or one energy. I'll take the metal. Oh, boy. That was... Now what? Now fun. we got to do this part, right? Yeah. So you start, though. So. Uh... Hmm. I know. Tough decisions sure you're gonna go there for Which water one are you going for water i'm gonna go there for cards yeah Boop. let's see what happens so water there's three water okay cards is one card but you also get a build action that's what i was hoping for i'm going to use that build action um what do I want to do? How much water do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to Bye, use... Carol. I'm going to use that build action to get a water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, never mind. Why did I think I just miscounted poorly? There's a lot to think about here. I heard here. him say 11 out loud. I thought, I, yeah, but that's why I double counted. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll spend 8 instead. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, yeah, 8. Nine, wait, I'm just, I can't count. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, you've had 11 this whole time. Oh, but I need 13. That's my problem. <laughs> I'm just bad at this math. He's trying to figure out how to. I can't do math. All right, I will play this one. It is a propeller that gives me plus one extra movement. So okay. i got to discard something for that. I'm going to discard this combat card. Because I don't know if I'm doing combat. All right. Now it's my turn to go. Yep. I'm going to come. I don't need. I don't really need energy. Hey, Dean. I'm going to come here and get water from this one. Okay. A lot of energy there, though. You want steel? Oh, you want cards. All right, I only get one water, but it comes with one free build action. And then you took cards. You yep. get one card, and you get to remove a card from your uh, deck, from your navigation discard. Okay. And this one gets me three greenery tiles when I purchase it. Buy one. That makes sense. Get rid of those ones. One, two. One, 
two, three. Can you play two of the same card, project card, or whatever these are? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't. Okay. Uh, Alexander's Just in the curious. comments, but I didn't see right. in there that you couldn't. All right, and then I get a free build action from that. So I'm going to build. What am I going to build? I only have, f I have four water. I really need to go up that track because this is pretty bad. All right, I'm going to spend four water to do another solar panel, which is going to give me max energy and move me one more space up on this. When I cross this line, I get two project cards. The only way to move up on that through the cards, or is there something I'm that, missing? Yeah, the here? cards are the main way. Okay. That is really I'm not saying that there's no other that. way to, but that is that is the the main way. Okay. All right, so that's reset, right? Mm-hmm. I did that. All right. We didn't pass a book. We're about to pass a book. All right. I'm gonna generate. I got to spend two energy now, but I get three water and one victory point. Get my two water. This is a game where you get very few victory points in the beginning, and then by the end, you're like getting so many victory points. Oh no, I gotta reshuffle my deck. Are you kidding? One and one. So one of each. That happens. It does. But that's your only one left, isn't it? You got rid of all your other ones. I have a two and a one. So I get one energy. What happened to my energy thing? I just like sent it flying somewhere. It's okay. I will find it. I just spent two so I get one back and I get two movement so I have two three four movement potentially do I need to get to light lights bill is that one of my I cards I only have two movement is that Senia? three movement lame rebel town gives for Alton I need to like really book it to get down to these places so I have one two three four potentially five one two three four so I'm gonna go one and get a victory point two, three, four to get two steel, and five to end up here, which needs a three to combat. I have a one combat, so I'll spend an energy to reveal a card. It's a two, that's three, so I win this one and I get three victory points. One, two, three. So what's the trigger for the end of this if we're not playing through chapters, just this part right just here? Just getting to the end of this track, yeah. I gotcha, okay. So this comes out, I have this city, and the reward here is two cards or, three, or two greeneries. I'm going to take two greeneries. Well, I only have, what, one, two, three movement. So I can't get one, this steel. One, two, potentially three. Yeah. So I just have to go here. And I guess I'll go there just to make it easier for myself. I need a four. I have three. So you spend an energy to draw a card? And you know it's going to, uh, it was your four. But at least you know you got it. Yep. All right. So do that. I get four water. I need. You need more? You could take a five and put one back. There's a little five tokens. You have a lot of water, Kira. I do. Um, and I got. Oh, I didn't use my extra Two cards, movement. please. Did you use your extra movement? So you get two energy if you didn't use your solar I, panel movement. Yeah, I guess I did. Two energy. Um, all right. I get to keep both. Neat. Okay. All right. All right, well, we've only got a couple rounds left, really. Um, so this, I go first here this time. Yep. I'm going to plant some new growth. I get to plant Well, I switched places three tiles. because I thought they need to be on the same well, side. Well, it doesn't matter. As long it's because you're first player, right? Have, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to plant three tiles. Um, I'm going to plant this one. It's arid. It goes back in the bag. It immediately gives me one steel and one build action. I will use that to upgrade my ability to build greenery. So now I can play up to four tiles. Um, so that's good. So I played one. I'm going to place a second one here to get two steel and two victory points. And then another one here to get two steel and two victory points. Because those are both adjacent I don't to think me. I'm doing very well. Like I said, planted greenery is, a, I mean, that's a really, like you get Other two points cards. for every one of these Cards have points on them. Well, cards can also have, if you're going to, you have a lot of resources to spend a lot of points. Um, so that was one, two, three. So I get to play one more. I'm going to play this one. That's uh, another arid one. It just gets me two more greenery tiles is all it does. So it doesn't actually get me anything. And then you get to do one free build action because I went there, Kara. So it's been three and I'm going to build the second panel and that puts me up to four combat. Nice. 
All right, my turn. Yep. I'm going to go here. I'm going to build two twice. Builds. All right, I get to build one I'm going to start by building this, which takes me up to five total combat for four water. And I have to get rid of a card, so I'll get rid of this one. Okay. And then what else do I got here? Because I get two builds. I'm going to have three water. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and spend get this 10 water out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on. One, two, three, four, Ooh. five, ten. There Hold we go. Hold on, I'll let you build all your cards for one water less. One water less. Nice. And I have to get rid of something else, so I'll get rid of this one. All right. I'm going to spend, I'm going to do a uh, pilot's insignia for three water. It gets me one victory point per movement upgrade from upgrades and project cards, so I get two victory points. Uh, and then uh, this also moves me up one on this track. Nice. And that's and I get to discard another card to pay for that. Yeah. What is this here? That moves you up two on that. That would move you up two spaces instead Let's of just one. Let's pay two new growths and score nine. Yeah, pay two tiles to gain nine but points. But it also gets this. Correct. Oh, yeah. okay. All the lightning bolt stuff you get for everything. Neato, neato. Okay. All right. Uh, was it that? And so I did my. You did your two. I did my one. Mm -hmm. So that's it for that mm -hmm. round. Here, you get to be first player again. There was no book, so we do our production. I'm going to spend two energy to produce four water and one victory point. Spend one energy to get two water. And then uh, draw your two cards. I have a one and a three. I might as I well have get a two and a energy. three. So two. So I'm going to get three movement, though. That's three pretty movement good. for me as well, which I have five. Well, you can hit up those three victory points on your way to where you're going if you, that, if you wanted to, or you could just skip them. Probably. Am I first? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five that gets me eight victory points. No, three, three here, and then I have to get a seven in combat. Yeah. I currently have one, three, four, four five. five. So you need a two. You could get it. Spend your energy, flip it, and see what it is. You need a two, right? Oh, you definitely got cool. it. Cool. So, so then you're gonna I get... get five more victory points. Yep. It's worth noting now that you have five combat. You can start to activate these. I know. Powers. I saw that. All right, which we'll talk about those here in a second because you're, we're going to go Your into movement. that. But I get to move three, four, five, potentially six. I need to get all the way to Jericho. I'm not, I'm not passing up Crunchfield. Oh, there's Pleasureville. One, two, three. I could get to Pleasureville, but it is eight combat, and I've got one. Well, I'm definitely not doing the fighting there. That's sad. Sad. That is very sad. Do I need to go to Eden? Oh, I do need to go to Eden. So let's just go up to Eden. One, oh, wait, two, I need to do this. three, four, five. Uh, it's going to give me one steal for passing over that steal. And then I get to go to New Eden. New Eden needs a five combat strength. I have one. <laughs> I'll see. I could draw that four. So that's at three. I'll spend two more. And I got my four. Boom. Oh, thank you. I do, so I do think I, I have a pretty good deck at this two. point. You do have a really good deck. Five water and two project cards. All right, and then I put mine up there, yada, yada, and now we're back to here. So, okay, so we haven't explained these yet because no one's been able been able to do them, but here actually has straight up five combat. Mm -hmm. This one lets you remove any one of these gun emplacements off the board, basically to allow you to move through them a little easier. And then you're gonna get three water, and you get to put down one of your growth tiles, and you get to do two build actions. So this one over here, Let's you place out your number of growth tiles, which would be two. You can even place your aired ones out on the ground to get a victory point. Normally, you can only discard those to the tile or to the bag. Okay. So. So I'll oh, do this. All your, you get your tiles plus one. So. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that makes the most sense. So you're gonna move take whatever's in my way that looks oh, like it's in my like way. This one looks like it might be yeah, in your way. There you go. Uh, I can't see. Um, and then I get three water. Yep. So that takes me up to nine and then you get to place a greenery tile you can either place that one out if you cover this you'll get four points or you can get whatever's on the other side of this one yeah let's do that so that's four points one two three four 
and then I can build twice. Yep, and I get to do one build action while so I'm going to go ahead and build another because I have nine, so this costs one water less. Now nice. I'll be two water less because I'm spending that, and I'll discard this card. Nice. And then we don't get these victory points till the end, right? Not I haven't been end, right? paying attention. Um, and then I get to do it again, and I will just take a steal because I need. You, oh man, you you used everything, huh? I did. All right, I need some combat, so I think I'm just gonna. Bye, no, I'm gonna do six. I'm gonna spend six steel. I haven't been focusing on combat, and I'm not gonna start now. <laughs> I'm gonna get my last one of these. So by doing so, it gets me five water immediately, and I will get ten points at the end of the game for reaching the bottom of it. Plus, I get ten. I have what I need here. But I what don't are you have doing? A build action. I don't. I'm just doing my free build action from down oh, here. Oh, okay. So now it's your turn to go somewhere. Now it's my turn to go somewhere. I kind of want to place the, these green tiles out. All right. I'm going to go to greenery. I get to place two, three, four, five. I only have three currently, but I will turn this one in to draw two out of the bag and hope that one of them has a build action. And I can just take one of these because I don't have anything to build. Yeah, so that's one. I'm going to put this one out for two victory points and a steal. So that's two. I need more cards. I'm going to play this one as my third one, which is one steal and one build action. So I'll hold on to that build action for now. That was one, two, three. One, two, three, and I can place two more. So I'll do this one for one steal and a build action, and then I will do this one to get two more greenery tiles out of the bag. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So I gotta actually spend these two build actions that I would have gotten here. All right, one of them is gonna be, I'm gonna spend 13 water, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is almost all my water, and one other card from my hand. Uh, I'm gonna get 10 victory points at the end of the game, and no, I, it says instant. I'll instantly get 10 victory points. You're right, 26. And go up two on this track. One, two, and that space gives me two water. And then my second build, I'll spend three water to play a wreck. I mean, it received two metal, but it also moves me up one more space on that production. I'm sorry track. if I'm being dumb. How do you get two builds? So both these tiles I play, oh, each one okay. of them gives one. Gotcha. All right, two more rounds. Okay, we passed a book. We did pass a book. So each one of us can spend two steel to get two victory points and either two energy or two cards. All right, I'm going to do, do that. It. I'll take two victory points. Are to you get taking two victory points? Two cards, please. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing and take two cards. No, actually, I'm going to take two energy because I'm going to spend a lot here. So now we do our production. I can do four energy to get five water and five victory points. No, four victory points. Are you doing your production, Kira? None of these moved you up on the... Oh, man. So many cards. Oh, this one did. This one moved you up one. No. Oh, so I can you spend two energy? Three, one energy to get three water. Oh, okay. I was like, one of the, at least one of those cards I knew had to, to move you up those tracks. Well, shoot, I've had that forever. Well, then you take a couple more waters. It's okay. It was like the first one I did. The This one? I thought, that, well, that one, and then... Oh, this was like the third one I did. Anyway, doesn't matter. I right. should have been counting it. Draw draw two cards. Oh, so you get two energy, or cards, and four movement. That's pretty good. Um, I'll take two cards, please. I get please. one energy and four movement. Take two cards. Thank you. And am I first this time, right? Uh, yes. yes. So I get four, five, six movements. I can get to wherever I want to go. I need to get to Jericho. Or Pleasureville. Alright. That's a weird thing to say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so I get three victory points for passing that. Can I get to eight combat? Uh, here's my four. I am not even going to try. <laughs> I got, there's no way I'm going to get these six victory points. Okie dokie. But I will take the three water for removing that cube. So I'll take three water. All right. So I have four, five, six movement. Am I wrong? There are walls in Jericho and I couldn't, I'm, I'm not going to get there in time to blow those walls down. I don't think. Can I go backwards to you come back? You can go any direction. Okay, so you just can't fight in a city you've already fought in. I have six movement. Yeah. So one, two, two three, three, four, five. Three, no, one. You were here, right? 
No, I was here. Oh, I'm sorry. One, one two, five. One, two, three, four. So this has three things on it. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, sorry. Five, six. Correct. Yeah, and you haven't been to that city yet. So Correct. you could still fight there if you so want. So I'm going to get three victory points first. Yep. And then I'm going to fight there, which is five, which I auto win. And you get five water. Well done. When we put out your cube, you have a choice of three more water or two victory points. I will take three more water. All right. Um... We, we, that's it for we have only one more movement after this okay all right so i'm first oh yeah Sorry. so i got a place where i want to go i have two green tiles no way to get more right now unless i get a card added but i have all this steel i should really be building some upgrades can i get i have eight but i have all this all right i'm going to come here for two build actions the first build action i'm going to pay two steel to flip over this first gun emplacement. And then my second one, I'm going to spend five water and one card. This says immediately build your next EMP cannon for three metal less, which is my next combat one. So for three metal less makes it free. And I got a, and I discarded another solar panel to pay for it. So those are my two build actions. Kira, you're going to get one build action. There's a difficult combat left on the board. There's a lot of difficult combats left. All This one is, the one I just failed at is eight, eight combat for six victory points. Mm. But you got to get there first, which means you yeah, got to sure. get four. All right, I get a free build Yep. because of you. So I'll build this for three five. water. Oh yeah, three five. water. Wow. And one more card. And then I will discard that one. Yeah, you have a you have a really good combat going. Yeah. How many water do I have? Four, eight. And you gotta decide where you're gonna go for your action now. I need three more water to do what I wanna do. And hope I get a build out of it, basically. Hmm, there's definitely water there. Well here, I can just do it here, right? Yep. So, so take off another one of those gun in place. There's one right here in front of you. Yeah, do that. I don't know if you're going to go through there or not. Maybe. Uh, and three water. I get to do one of these yep. as well. So three water. That puts me what I need. And then... That's going to get you either two greenery tiles or four energy. I guess two greenery tiles? And they just stick with me till I place them yep. later? Okay. It's the first greenery tiles I've gotten. So neat. Um, and then two builds. I will. I get one build. I really need to think about this. Build this. Nice. For that. Um, and this is 10 points plus two up on the track. Yeah. And all the water I have. That's 20. And then I will take two steel, or one steel for my two. second build. Sorry. When you went past this line, you got two cards. Cool. And I get one build. I'm going to spend four to increase I my. I can't get combat. blue cards to save my life, though. Oh, for your thing? Yeah. Like. I think I'll get this one, and I know I'll get this one, but this one I'm going to get on the low end, which is a bummer. Okay. All right. Um, all right. That's that it. was it for the round. So you're going to be first player for the last round. So I know we're a little bit over one, but really, like, there was a little bit of technical That's pretty difficulty. Quick. It was pretty quick. Um, all right. No, no. Well, we did pass a book. We did pass a book. So I'm going to spend two steel to get two victory points, and I'm going to take the two energy, actually. What's the other option? I uh, two cards or two energy. Well, I don't have two steel. Okay. So I don't get to do it. All right. So that's book. And then we produce. I'm going to spend four energy to get five water and four victory points. Are you going to produce two to get four water and uh, one victory point? Huh? You can pay two energy to get four water oh, and yeah. one victory Shoot. point. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Four water? Yeah, four water. Thank you. Which is pretty good. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So then... Draw two cards. Four and four. So nice. That's one, two, three, four, and then... From one and three, so... Oh, wait, I could have energy. drawn cards, right? What For what? Instead. I can draw cards or I can get energy. I don't know what you're... No. Okay, so I just get four energy. Are you talking about from, from this? From these. 
I'm my brain's dead. Yeah, I don't know what you're even. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to answer your question. You're all right. You're all right. Um, oh, you mean yes? Your second one could be four of these cards. That's what I was asking. Sorry, instead of getting that's four. That's what energy. I'd like to have, please. Thank you. And yeah. then I get four movement plus. So you've got four, five, six, potentially seven. Seven, if I use this, right? Yeah, I think. So this this city is worth six points. One, two, three, four, which you could get to. This city is also worth six points. You can't get to the only high, higher city is eleven, and it's there's no way you're going to get to the eleven with seven movement. Yeah. All right, give me you to the. You can get to the, the yeah. one that requires eight combat. Let's do that. What's this uh, little arrow mean? Wait, how much? How much do you have, Kira? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can even actually swing by and get two victory points on your way up there. Okay, let's do that. Um, so you need eight combat. Uh, I have one, two, three. Four five. Four five. So you need to spend an energy. Whoops. Six seven. Boo. And then you can either spend two more energy or three more victory points to draw victory again. Victory points. Got it. Um, so you're gonna get six victory points for that. Cool. That's it. That's it, right? You for put your movement. last cube down. Yeah. Yeah, this but it's your movement now. What does this mean? It means that's the end of the game. So oh. this will be the end of the game Got after it. this. Um, I have three, four, five movement. I cannot make 11 com I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four combat. So I can at least do a, probably a five combat. So three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll do that. One, two, three. Oh, I need to go to Jericho though. Don't you bump into my airship. One, two, three, four, five. And then I will use this extra one to go six to get to Jericho. It requires four combat, which I have, so that's four victory points. One, two, three, four. And I will put out my last cube on Jericho. All right, will we still do the city building thing like normal? I'm just going to pull up in-game scoring because I want to make sure I don't miss any points so for So now us. I go here. Um, I wish I knew what you were going to do. What I was going to do? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I have a bunch of water. I could potentially build a card if I have one that gets me a lot of points. I need more water than I have. So that only takes me to seven. So that would cost me five, and that one would cost me three. Yeah, I guess that doesn't matter that much. This seems like the best opportunity for me. So I'm going to go here. To I'm do that take one again. three water. That is a really good one. Uh, there's really nothing that's going to affect you for these gun I'm going to place a greenery tile, which gets me two victory points. Actually, it'll get you four if you put it here. Yeah, do that. And then one, I get two, to three, build four. twice. I'm going to start by... I'm going to get one build action while you're doing one. all that. So I'm going to spin think. that one and trash... Uh, Something I can't actually use at this point. I have no metal. So I'll trash that one. Okay. And that cost me three. And my second build action. I'll use to build. All right, cost me I... two less. This one. I'm gonna build this. So trash that one. Help me. Help me four. know what this card is really okay. quick. I'm just building this gun. It just moves me up one space on this. Which one? So I get to move up twice. Yep. I get eight one, victory points. Two, and when you do that, you cross two water. So I get two water. And you get eight victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's this? Uh, that's pay. Well, no, that's pay four greenery tiles to get eight. Oh points. well, then I want to build the one I just. No, I guess that doesn't matter. I only have one greenery tile, so that's not a good one but for me to build. It still gets you two on this. Yeah, but I want victory points. Okay. Well, sure. Go ahead. We'll just do that. That's fine. So I don't get the eight. Right. I took it back. Okay. But you'll good. get more points for get the higher you get on this track, the better it is for you because you need to get up yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah. You're right. So. You're right. You're right. Um, you. Or what am I going to do though? I don't know. I could do this one now that I have five combat, but uh, I only have two tiles to place. That doesn't do me any good. And just placing greenery tiles doesn't really do me any good either. I guess that would be two, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Sure. I'll place greenery tiles. So, oh, I can't do that. 
I would need three, and I don't have three. Oh, that hurts. So it'll be five points. Can I get more than five? I can't get more than five points for anything else, though. So I'm going to still do that. So I'm going to go there for two, and this one's going to be three. So that's five points. I'll tell you what. We have not done a great job of repopulating this world. Like, no. Look how sparsely green the board is. Now, in a four-player okay. game, of course, you're going to have a lot more. All right. So at the end of the game... So I get to take and build action, right? Correct. Because you went here. Uh, but keep in mind... So at the end of the game... I'm when the taking game ends, water. We get to produce again mm -hmm. and take two build actions. I just took a water. Well, so you are, yeah, that's fine. I, that's, I want, need resources. You'll want energy too. Though you can, you can still produce. Yeah. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. All right. So that's the end of the game. Okay. So yeah, we're going to produce like normal. So I'll spend four energy to get five water and five victory points. Can I still just spend the one energy? You can spend two or, oh, you only have one? Yeah. Yeah, you can spend one to get three. Yeah. Uh, and then we get to build, we can build twice. I so still don't I have don't, enough to do I anything. <laughs> I have nine. This is the one I discarded, by the way. <sighs> so I'm just going to do these two for a total of eight water. I can do this one for five. Is, they just give me some points at the end of the game is all and they I do. I can trash that one. I think it takes me up one more on this, which gives me three water. Ooh, that was a good really toss. Matter. I don't know if anybody that saw was a that. Good that toss. was amazing. And I got to discard two cards to pay for those. So that's, that is it. That is all we get to do for okay. the game. So now we go into in-game scoring, which is printed over here. So I want, but I have this to make sure I do, do it, it right. right. So first of all, we're going to count up all uh, gray victory points. So you're going to get the highest points for any of these airship upgrades you did. So I get 10, 16, 17 for me. I get four total. Uh, four? You didn't upgrade your ship much, huh? Just these three. All right, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to count up all the points. Because you only get the furthest one. Correct. Yeah, okay. Then all the points on the bottom of your cards. I got 17. Oh, and then you always would count. Sorry. Seventeen from those. Plus another 14. So how much? So 17 or another 14. 14. 17 from my blues. Okay. And then 14 from my yellows. So, so one, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then 14 more? Yep. So 18, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a lot of points from those cards. Take your 50 point marker to show your 50 points okay. ahead. All right, now we're going to look at missions. So I did this mission here, which wanted me to have six upgrades. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get six points for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one wanted me to visit Senia, Eden, and Crutchfield, which I did Eden and Senia. So I visited two of those cities, so that's five points. And then this last one wanted me to visit um, Pleasureville and Jericho, which is what I did the last two turns was Pleasureville and Jericho, so that's five more. So that's it for me. That's all my missions. Okay. So how many I, blue cards did you have? Freaking six. Oh, so close. Yeah, so five for so that. So five points for that. One, uh, two, three, four, five. I can't see that track, so you'll have to do you that. You are one. on the five. So okay. two points. And then, um, and then cards that above eight, eight. Water. I have a ton. I mean, like. Do you I have, have at least three? Yeah, so I you have get a seven ton. points. Yeah. Okay, so that was. Our completed missions, our airship upgrades, our played project cards. Um, and That's then it. do we have, well, some of these special cities, which none of us went to the cities that give victory points. So, yeah, that's it. That's 86 to 106. That's right. pretty close. Not bad. That's for only 20. Me not knowing what the heck I was doing. I mean, that's only 20 point difference. Would it have been that. better I if I had done this? Probably not. Probably not. I didn't uh, focus on this it. one with the eight. This you, yeah. Like a lot of the cards you played didn't move you up. I think if we're gonna talk about really quick before we go, um, I got up this track earlier, which meant I was producing more water, which meant I could buy more cards. I and had I water for days. That made the twenty point difference. I think I did have water for days though. Yeah. Well, I needed to do more to my ship. So that was that was Cloud Age with mm -hmm. everything. I think those of you who are watching, you can see that there is. A lot of mechanics going on here, like they, but they all really intertwine. And this whole like 
looking at these cards to try to feel, like I like this I think this is really neat like you're gazing at the card trying to see past the cloud cover to see what's in the city and each one of these card sleeves the, the clouds are in different arrangements and they're forward and backward uh, and there are a lot of these cards that were, you don't use every game so you never really know exactly like, there's no way you're memorizing oh I know that that card is going to give electricity or whatever power or whatever so uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel as much of a like what you would think of as a traditional fister, but I think this is a kind of uses a lot of elements that you'll recognize from other games that he plays. So yeah, if you like Maracaibo and Blackout Hong Kong and Great Western Trail, like definitely try this one. I think people will be pleasantly surprised, um, especially if you want to play through that story mode. I'm currently playing through the story mode, but I'm not all the way through at all. So, all right, that's Cloud Age. Uh, Kira, you've got another live stream coming up. Is that right? Tomorrow. Uh, Jeremy and I do the comp and co-op every couple of weeks. Uh, it was supposed to be last week. Again, it got pushed because partially because my voice and partially because Jeremy had a cold. So we're just, again, being safe. Yeah. Um, so uh, we'll be streaming Chronicles of Crime 1400 nice. tomorrow. Lots of spoilers. So please so, Yeah, lots out. of spoilers, but it's worth watching. Well, it's a lot of spoilers, but there's so many cases yes. that if you're on the fence about it, you're not really going to spoil much for yourself. Uh-huh. And, and then, you know. Yeah, and if you, I see some people like, oh, I missed the, I got here late. Just click the reminder on the videos. And you'll get a reminder half an hour before we go live and when we go live for any of the shows. But that's tomorrow at 7 Eastern. 7 o'clock, yeah. At night. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.